The skills practice for Lesson 6 requires students to download the supplied file provided in the skills practice and then use the layers that are in the file to create a custom still lay. I'd like to walk through the skills practice from start to finish. Not all skills practices in Art1280 will have a demo video that walks through the project from start to finish, but I think that this one's important because there are a few extra things that haven't been covered in the class so far that I'd like to show you how to do that could be helpful when creating your still life. So the first thing that everyone needs to do for the skills practice is to download the supplied file. I've already downloaded it and I have it open in Photoshop. If we take a look at the requirements for the skills practice, we are going to use the layers that are included in the file to create our own custom still life. We are going to turn the visibility on and off on different layers depending on whether or not we want to use that particular layer or the fruit or vegetable that's on that layer. We will drag and drop layers from the background container and elements layer groups into the student's design layer group and then rename that based on our own name. So I will name it Jessica's design, but you might name it Michael's design or Alice's design. I would like you to color label your layer group and all the layers in it of, to a color of your choosing to show me that you are able to color label layers. And then in order to meet the minimum requirements for the project, you must use at least one background and one container and five still life items. If you would like to, you can duplicate layers. So if you want to use the same apple multiple times, that's okay. And that can count as two different items within your still life. And then you're going to use the move tool to move elements around you will drag layers up and down to reposition the items to move them backwards and forwards in the design. Uh, and then you're going to try to make it look as natural as possible. One of the things that we haven't learned about that is a requirement or something that you can use for the project is you can use the eraser tool to remove parts of the fruit bowl and or the fruit that are not needed. So if your fruit falls below the line of the fruit bowl, we might want to erase the bottom of the fruit or the background of the bowl. After we have created a pleasing composition, we can experiment with layer blending modes, transparency, and layer effects to create interesting effects. I will also demo that. And then when we're done, we're going to save the project as a photoshop.psd file and a PNG so that you can embed the PNG into the discussion thread. In addition to your finished still life, I would like you to make sure that the file or the image that you submit also shows your layers panel. So you can either embed the PNG of your still life and then take a screenshot of the layers panel and upload two files, or you could take a screenshot that includes your still life and the layers panel. I will get started in the next video.